It's one of the most talked about pieces of Yukon art, at least in terms of what's happened to it in its short history. Now in the latest chapter, the unique piece of art has been reunited with its creator after being stolen and damaged. Al Foster has more in this report. This is a day sculptor Shane Wilson has been waiting for since last September, the chance to be reunited with one of his prized works. Oh, wow. It bared up pretty well, I think. For heaven's sake. It was last September when Wilson's sculpture known as Yukon Seasons was stolen from this display case in the Canada Game Centre. He had donated the piece to the city of Whitehorse and it was valued at $50,000. A Canada-wide call went out for any information on the crime or the whereabouts of the Moose Skull sculpture. In April, an anonymous caller to RCMP gave a location for the piece and it was recovered, however, not in its original state. Well, from what I can see, um, most of the damage has been on the upper surface. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is the tine that was broken off during the actual theft. It was left at the scene of the crime and uh, was in the RCMP's keeping. So it's, in, it's actually the color uh, and the condition that the original piece would, it was in. Uh, and then it, uh, it was broken off from right about here. Um, the, uh, the thieves likely reefed on it when they were trying to free it from the stand and that's how it broke off. The piece has also suffered some discoloration and there's even mold growing in some areas. Since being recovered, the sculpture has been turned over to the Yukon government's arts and culture branch. That department determined it could be restored. First off, we're going to uh, simply remove the mold from the surface and then we'll gauge, you know, whether it still looks discoloured and whether that's bothersome. And we may not have to do anything after that in terms of the surface coloration. But we will be looking at reattaching the broken tine area with an adhesive. And really that's, that's pretty much it. The hope is to put the piece on display again once the restoration is complete. And despite what happened in September, the sculpture's creator has no trepidation about his piece being made available again for public viewing. It's, it was made to be displayed and uh, um, I, I think that obviously they'll take more precautions in terms of security and uh, so. It's not known yet how long the restoration will take place. Shane Wilson can only hope that it will be the last dramatic chapter in his artworks short but storied existence. Al Foster. CBC News, Whitehorse. Today is the final day of the Eleonite Festival in Iqaluit, and it's just in time for celebrations for Quebec's 400th anniversary. But for event organizers, the celebration isn't just for Quebecois.